Shall we have a look at another Nexo Knight set today? Oh bloody hell, my uh... Oh, my attic just popped open. <laughs> Clearly the monster lives in my attic is excited. Boom, today we're going to be having a look at this one. Du -du -du -du. Oh, it's very excited to open. Shh, there's nothing in there. Uh, this is 70323, can really offer this, Gestro's Volcano Lair. Uh, this is 999,000 pounds, no wait a minute, hang on. 99 pounds, 99 pence. Uh, 1,186 pieces. Thank you very much to LEGO to sending me this set to review. So, what does it come with? Well, it comes with a ruddy great castle thing. This dude, that dude, that dude, a slicey blade of death, and about a billion minifigures. So let's have a look at it then. Okay, we are reframed, not very much, and still quite zoomed out, because this is a big set. Uh, first up, let's take a look at some of the stuff, what we get as extra bits. And we have this guy to start with, with a kind of, st not starfish stingray thing going on. Oh, it's a starfish thing going on. Uh, he's got a very large ball that he can fire out if you do a bit of uh, squeezy squeezy. These are little fiery shot things. Uh, yeah, basically lots of weaponry. This guy's just a weapon fiend. And he's got a, oh, what's, hang on, what's his little, what's his clan? He is Clan Tornado Fire. That's a cool clan name. I'm gonna put him over there. You'll have to just remember what you get with this set. Look at me walking in front of the... Oh shit, I just dropped something. As I say, look at me walking in front of this like an unprofessional, and then I immediately go and drop... Oh, oh God. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh dear. Well, yes, well that went, I'm guessing that went on there like that. Hang on a second, I'm constructing the set I'm reviewing. Uh, and then that bit, I... I don't know, where would that have even gone? Is that, is that going in his ass? No, that didn't go in his ass. <laughs> Sorry, out of context, some of that would probably seem like a weird thing to say, but uh, you want to know where Right, well, there's this guy. He's on a motorbike horse. And yeah, he is Clan Big Mountain. Big, big Mountain Clan. He looks like he's Clan Big Mountain as well. Look at the size of him. Yeah, he's massive and he's got a little thing. Uh, he also comes with this bit here, which goes on him somewhere. <laughs> but I proceeded to immediately knock off, because I am an idiot. All right, you're gonna go over there with Thingy. Uh, we've got some minifigs. We've got this dude here, which is uh, due to, is he like migraine dude? It's just like somebody's head with fire coming out of it. He has a big suit of armor and he's, his eyes can't quite see out of it, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go for squidged out. Oh, he definitely can't see out of it, because he's winking. We're having a bit of a flirt on the battlefield. This one, this nice sort of that lovely shoulder armor that they've got. Uh, we've got you, what do you last? We've got uh, one of those soldiers is having their eyes opened up. Like that lewd Varguilio technique, what's that called? From Hulk Orange? You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, we've also got another one of them. This is a big set, we've got to get through a lot. We've got tiny little Santa's elf gone wrong. Who's having a bit of a, is that a beard or is that a spider on his face? I think it's two spiders that he's trying to stand there. It's quite, he's quite fat as well, I like, like his big fat gallop that he's got painted on there. We've also got man with beard. <laughs> he ended up in that pile again somehow. There's a stick, that's probably man with beard stick. Uh, we have these two fellas here. So we've seen these little red ones before, with the big smiles, but we haven't seen Yellow, big what the the yellow one's poisonous. It's like ladybirds. Yeah, you don't want to mess with him. He is arr, quite poisonous. And finally, in this set, oh wait, now I've just found somebody embedded. There's this guy with knives. And some of the people are still sort of embedded in the set. Arr, it's what Darth Maul does on the weekends. And finally, in this set, there may be another one sort of in the actual build. We have Jestro himself. This is Jestro's thing, and this is Jestro. Move your thing out of the way so you can see your lovely face. Much better. Uh, yes, he has a sort of a bitten cape thing and a bit of a joker thing going on, but he is Gestro. He also has a second face, which is even scarier than the first one. Are you ready for this? Thought you weren't. <laughs> anyway. Cool, a minute. So that's all the mini... I hate standing up for these reviews. That's all the minifigures. Uh, should we have a look at the build itself? I think we should. Hang on. That's a man with a lava... Th <laughs> the things that I find... See, what I've done recently is I thought it'd be a really good idea if I just pile all my review sets up together. And that means that stuff like this guy, which is clearly from the uh, Volcano sets, 
ends up in this review. You go over there for now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, should, I should grab around and things that I can find. Look, a baby. Uh, no, we have... <laughs> Sorry, love, I'll return you, baby. We have this as the main bulk of the set. Hang on. Salute. Thank you. This is the main bulk of the set. It's huge. It's massive. You can see it's sort of uh, same sort of height as the uh, background towery things. It's got a lot of cool features. My favourite one being this plate out here that you can spin at ludicrous speeds. It can't, that is definitely going to get decapitate a baby. Hang on, wait, let's see. Baby decapitation test. Number one. Oh, actually, no, you know what? I was wrong. That can't decapitate a baby because the baby's a little bit shorter than it. Do you know what that means, though? That means that they have tested that and they've made it safe. Actually, you know what I definitely want to use? I'm going to use the baby up here, though. The baby up there. We'll get to why I put the baby up there later. On this side, you've got a stick bit. This is the only bit of the set I'm not particularly keen on. It's just like an extra flat. Most of the rest of it is all sort of built together. Like, you build it in chunks and they all clonk together. That's just sort of like an extra flat. It's concealing a thing here, which is a spinner. <laughs> so when you rotate that, that bit in the middle spins and dices up whatever could possibly be in its way. Over here, we've got a thing. If we pull the thing, the baby falls into the pit and will then be minced up. Yeah, you know that thing you do when you've got salad and you're trying to spin it? I've done that to that baby. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. That's fine, it looks fine, it looks fine. It's a baby you wouldn't tell anyway, would you? Uh, so we've got the blades, we've got the thing. This is like a shooty, aimy, pointy gun thing. And up here we've got Jastro's ship, which detaches in a way that I can't quite remember. Yes, good, and these things all fold down. It's like, oh, an attack vessel. But that can come off separately, or you can have it to sing over there. I like sing over there because it looks like a massive great throne. If we now rotate the set around, oh, hang on. Also, I love the uh, the lava, like this cascade of lava that goes all the way to the bottom and sort of goops up on both sides. I think that looks really nice. I think this looks stunning as a place, and it's definitely a place it because if we give this a few twiddles, so you can see the back of it like that. Is the back of it in frame? Yes, yeah, so we can zoom in ever so slightly as well. No, we can't. Uh, we can see whoops, some of the stuff you got in it. So we've got a little bit of a weapon rack. Uh, here, up here, hello, hello, I'm next to the camera now. Up here, we've got a treasure chest, where do we keep the secret, the secret arcane things? Here's a bathtub. Actually, if we, hang on, to this at an angle. You can see that he's got a bed? Like, he's got just a little bed and a bathtub? This feels like I've just built some dude's home, this is a little bit... You know when you're watching, like, Grand Designs on Channel 4 and you're like, I don't know why you're building that, but okay, it feels kind of like that sort of thing. We've got a little storage room here where I'm assuming, there's a little mouse in there, we're assuming they'll definitely want to put their food, etc. Uh, there's a cooking pot here, there's a few more weapons and stuff, etc. there. And I believe there's something else, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, anyway, it's like some dude's house. It's not just a, a, a tacky, evil, aggressive castle. It's some dude's house. And it was fun to build. It was very fun to build. I really like the fact you build it in sort of sections and glue them all together. And I really like the fact that the finished model actually looks pretty cool. And I especially love the fact that you can murder Lego babies with it. So yes, thanks to Lego for sending me this to review. And uh, probably don't buy it if you happen to be quite attached to your Lego babies, because they will be minced. They will be minced. Oh, oh, okay, well I knocked two things off there. I'm trying to put away. There's a little something. Oh, it's one of these. Ah, there it is, it's at the back. Oh, there, there, there's, a, there's a thing I forgot. There. This little panel here is attached on like that, and if you push this down, it sort of gets blown off. And inside here is a safe where you can put all the uh, books. They give you loads of books. These sets always have these book things and the little uh, shields, all the different designs and stuff on. I'll put all them in there. I forgot I had that little safe room thing. <laughs> oh, actually, no, thinking about it, also on one of these sides, I think it's this side, it's quite a difficult set to bring up because I keep <laughs> bits of it off. Uh, this side, there we go. Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to see this now. Did I punch the camera at all? Oh, just about. I'll punch it right there. This bit here, there's a little lever here. And if you push that lever up, then that bit opens up. Then you get into that storeroom. I wonder why there's only a door to get in there. If I, if I find anything else, I'll let you know. <laughs> Probably.